He's an animal. He's a... <laughs> You can get just about anything to suit your stomach. Maybe you're a little hungry and you'd like to try some of the wonderful biscuits and traditional pastries that they make here. There's a chicken in every pot in Ottawa Market. One of the biggest dishes that people eat here, believe it or not, are guinea pigs. I always thought a guinea pig, you know, it's like a nice little house pig. You take them home, you put them in this little guinea pig house. One thing that looks the same all over the world, a turkey is a turkey anywhere you go. These are very, very beautiful, very soft yes, as well. <laughs> you can wear them for a storm, right? She has so many different colors that she's worked in it. Here you, you can see she weaves them. These are all done on a hand loom. So I thought you could just come to this market to buy chickens and turkeys and guinea pigs. Oh, I guess I was wrong. These colorful ropes that are sold here are used to tie up the animals. Now my guide told me that this market used to be very disorganized, that the cows were running in one direction and the pigs were running in another direction. And sometimes they would collide with each other. So as you can see, this is something that's very much needed. So I've come all the way to the animal market, but of course it's Christmas time. So up, oh, it, well, it, it doesn't quite fit, but I think it does the trick. <laughs> what does a mask like this represent? Well, this mask here is used by the people of, of the area, Otavalo, especially for the festivities of uh, Inti Raimi, which is the festival that um, is the culmination of the cultivation of all the, the plants. <laughs> So they use these for dancing. So they dance with these? Yes. So it's kind of hard to, to see. Uh, do I have this on right? No, here, could you fix it for me? Okay, well, you, can, you can't. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait, it's got a front, it's got a back. Okay, does it bring you good luck? Yeah, the dance, you have to dance properly. Okay, so I have, okay, so I have to dance properly while I have it on they have for good luck. One of the customs here in Ecuador for New Year's Eve is to wear one of these masks or make a big figure that they stuff with sawdust. They put a paper mache head on a figure and then you burn it at midnight. So any of your sins that you gather during the year just go poof. And you can see these are the start of the heads. They're paper mache and he'll eventually paint a face on him. One of the favorite things that people like is to wear a mask of like the ex-president. We are gonna get one and put it on the top of our car to celebrate the new year. Now you know back in the States we have roadkill on the front of our cars. Well here for New Year's Eve, we have one of these little figures that we're gonna burn at midnight. But in the meantime, people either ride around with them in the front of their car or tied to the top or even in the windshield. It's a really big tradition. This is our ex-president of Ecuador. His name is Bucaram. He's going up in smoke. Yeah. I can feel it. He was exiled. He lives in Panama now. But I bet a lot of people then take this one, right? Yeah. Favorite. Listen, if I were gonna burn something, it would, def it would definitely be George Bush, only to be followed up with um, Sarah Palin. Sorry. It's a great tradition here in Ecuador to bring in the new year.